Okay guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to install White Door or any custom firmware on your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. I see where a lot of people don't really know how to do it, so I will now show you. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is download iRap4. This will enable you to put your device into DFU mode. I put a link in the description for you guys. Alright, once iRap is downloaded, extract it to your desktop and open it up. Alright. Make sure your iPhone or iTouch is plugged in properly to your computer. Close iTunes if it opens up. Alright, now select whatever device you have. Alright, now follow the instructions that pop up. Alright, it's working. You can let go if you want. Alright, once it goes through the entire process, just close it out and open iTunes. <clears throat> that out. Alright, open iTunes. Alright, there it goes. Sorry about that. Alright, it's in recovery mode or DFU mode, whatever you want to call it. Alright, just press OK. Alright, under iPhone, you're under iPhone. If you're under music, just select iPhone. Press shift on your keyboard while you press the restore button. Alright, now um, look for the custom firmware wherever you downloaded it and select OK. So I downloaded the White Door iOS 4 experimental firmware open. Alright, <clears throat> now it's extracting the software. Alright, um, once it's, once it goes through all this process, just um, make sure to set it as a new iPhone. Whenever I restore from a backup, like Cydia disappears and all the icons mess up. Alright, I wouldn't recommend restoring from a backup. Alright, once it, once it restores all your firmware, you should be set. You can now sync all your apps and your music back on. Alright, um, thanks for watching guys. If you encounter any problems, just drop a comment down below. And uh, make sure to subscribe and uh, share this video. Thank you.